There's a lot of people at the moment, and not just in tennis, celebrating you and your resurgence. Where has it come from? I think from a good break last year, probably took absolutely the right decision to, to pull the plug on the season after Wimbledon. I mean, I couldn't have played, to be quite honest, but then to really announce it early, to say, like, I won't be playing anymore for the rest of the season, it was a tough one because I missed the Olympics, US Open, World Tour Finals, you name it, all my favorite tournaments. Did you realize you were playing as well as you were at the start of the year? Um, I think practice went, went very well in December. I was actually surprised how well I practiced, but then I thought, well, it's not a match. You know, and many guys feel good in practice and in the match day sort of just really fail. So uh, my coach actually told me at the time, he's like, you know, if you do well, uh, as well as you're doing right now, I honestly think something's possible in Australia. I'm like, yeah, but at one point it's going to catch up with me. I haven't played six months. My shoulder's going to hurt. My knee's going to go bad again. Or my foot's going to hurt because I haven't played any matches. And I got into this groove at the Australian Open and things were going perfectly. And I was able to pull it through till the very end. And at the end, it was a fairy tale and I couldn't, be couldn't believe it happened. Was there any part of you after that success, given the fact that so many people have said that's it, he's never going to win a, a Grand Slam mm. again. Was there any part of you that thought, I'm going to call it a day now, go out on this high? Not really, because the goal of last season after doing surgery in February, exactly a year ago sort of thing, and then not, not playing for the rest of the year at the end of the year was for longevity as a player, but also as a person. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to feel good. And that's why I, even after Australia was such a fairy tale. And you're right. It, you could have just sort of walked away and says, how better can it get? Well, it did get better. I won in Wells and Miami. So um, I did it for the right reasons. And I really didn't think of it, to be quite honest, after I won Australia. Most important is for me to stay healthy, number one. Number two, if you know, uh, I can win more tournaments, bigger tournaments you know, as I move along, that'd be wonderful. If there is a chance for world number one ranking, that'd be great. But I need to have a discussion would you, with would Andy Would you change there. your schedule? <laughs> I would love it. It would be great if it was just a discussion. Right, it? it's not that simple. <laughs> But is there a little bit of you that would contemplate changing your schedule and your priorities to regain the number one status? Not really. I just don't think I can. I, I would like to. At 23 years old, absolutely. You can start saying, OK, I'll play the last 20 tournaments of the season <laughs> if it helps me getting a better chance for world number one. But then that's exactly when I get injured. That's exactly when I burn out. And that's exactly when it all is going to end. So that's why I did take a break now for six, seven weeks and just really relax the body again. I feel like the mind also needs a break. The, the stress and pressure that I have every single day from playing is a lot. So I won't change anything. If it happens, great. And I really think it's a long, long shot. But who knows? I, I really hope I could do very well at Wimbledon at the US Open this year. Did you ever consider not doing Roland Garros? Um, I mean, I think it's actually still an option right now. I don't think I will skip it. But we'll have to see in, let's say, four or five weeks how I feel. Uh, when I get on the clay, how my mood is then. If I feel like I'm not 100% in it, that I'm really fired up and I believe that something's possible, then it's better to skip it. But then I think uh, maybe the break is a long one again, then it will be 10 weeks till the grass. That could be a bit long, but I will take probably a definite decision in five weeks.